Hey everyone, this is my video review of the Thor's weapon quest and the Thanos' ultimate battle. So let's get right into this review, guys. Okay, so this is the Thor's weapon quest. So what I'm going to start reviewing first is the pod. And it's a really nice pod. It's really cool. I think it's really nice. It's like a nice little... Um, you got a weird little handle right here. I don't really know what this is for. I guess it's just design. You, it's not really a handle. I shouldn't have said handle because I would not recommend holding it on here because then it pops right off. Got a nice bubble cockpit. I'm not really a big fan of the bubble cockpit that much, but what I do like is how it kind of like just flows in right up here. Um, we got Rocket Groot and then Thor back here. I think this is new. I mean, I'm not sure, but this piece right here, it's the one from a TIE Fighter, like the windscreen, just no print. And you got your little thrusters back here. Mm, yeah. Let me zoom in real quick. Okay. And yeah, that's it. You got some iron bars right here. Oh, whoops. I guess that doesn't go there. Yeah. Nice stickers. I kind of messed up on a sticker. Yeah, something looks so good. Then you got stickers right there. Some stickers right there. Can't really see it. Um, the next part of this set, so, sorry guys, I had some camera difficulties. Um, the, this is the other part of this $20 set. It's the little place where Thor makes his weapon, because it is called Thor's Weapon Quest. And now what you got is, like, a little spinning thing right here in the back, a little handle that you spin. Then it spins the front, which looks pretty cool. So what I'm guessing that Thor uses his lightning magic and spins this and then the weapon comes out this is probably a super small scale compared to the movie i'm guessing because as the time of the recording of this video it is not out and when you spin it you know you're supposed to just push this out a little bit and you get your stormbringer thor's weapon i think it's a really cool thing it's just it's like a hammer axe and I'm guessing the wood, like this, the handle, is supposed to be coming from Groot. And so yeah, let's put that out of the way. And you get an Infinity Stone. I can't remember what the, ah, uh, the Power Stone, there we go, yeah, it's the Power Stone. The purple one is the Power Stone. Uh, it's having some focus facts. Come on, focus, there we go. I think it looks really nice. Really cool. Now let's get on to the big set. So here is the Thanos' ultimate battle. And it's really big. Like it can't even fit in my range of view. So let's get right on to the big thing. So here's the Benatar. This is what the ship's called. The Benatar. Benatar from the movie. I think it's really cool. Just spin it around. Yeah. I think it's really nice. And you got, like, flat back, which kind of sucks. Nah, just kidding. You got these things, little flaps. Pretend, like, going really fast, like, air brakes or something. Because, yeah. And you got some more articulation right here. That's pretty cool. You got some stud shooters. You got some stickers. I think these stickers make the set look a lot nicer than if it didn't have stickers. So you got some headlights on both sides, and this angles up and down, which is pretty nice, like a little bit of added detail. I think my favorite part about this set is how the wings angle up, because in the other two Milanos, they did not, and where they were supposed to. A new cockpit looks really nice, you can open that up, and open that up, so that way easier access to the minifigures. When you open that up, comes out a little scooter thing, like you got repulsor lifts, I'm guessing what these are, and some thrust, and it just clips in like a ball joint into one of those clip pins, right there, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, you can't see that, um, so yeah, you got weapon storage, which is really nice, you got like, two swords, it gives you three swords in the set for some reason, which I don't understand, because Gamora is only supposed to have one sword, so, let me just move this in right here. 
do got some interior right here. Let me just, uh, there we go. I think the interior is pretty great. You have some stickers right here. You have a sticker on this side and a sticker on that side. You got two chairs, which can fit a minifigure. Let me just, right there. Yeah. It's really cool. Got some, you know, a little ramp comes down. So yeah, let's get to it. Now let's get down to those minifigures. So the first one I'm going to do is Thor. And I think he's really nice. He has a little lightning blast. He comes with more, which is like this one. Just a smaller version of the one he's holding. He has this, which is like a shield thingy, I'm guessing. Or like a splat piece. There we go. Then you have this, which is kind of like an electronic punch. Yeah. <laughs> And it just clips on with this little clear piece. You know, that new, a fairly new piece. And yeah, let me just take his accessories off. I think he's a really nice figure. I mean, he doesn't really have that many prints. Um, yeah, he looks like the one from Thor Ragnarok, which is good, because that's what he should look like. Short hair, he's nice. He only has black legs which I kind of wish were printed with something, because I'm pretty sure in the trailer you saw some something on his legs, like some like the clothing. Um, for his secondary face, he just has lightning eyes. And I think it's really cool, because when you have this thing in person, they're like a metallic color, which I think is really nice. He's all angry. I think my mouth is misprinted, though, because when I look at it, right here, you look at it it's like angled in a weird way like his beard and stuff so yeah next figure will be rocket yeah rocket's nice he's really cool you got that raccoon face or trash panda <laughs> his torso printing is really cool i think he does come with a gun, just pick that in there, it's nice, just like a standard gun with a little cylinder piece attached to it. You have the tail, no, not really any back print, it's just some straps right there, and that's it for Rocket. Now, let's go to Groot. Yeah. Groot, this is my only Groot figure, which I was really cool. Um, he doesn't have any leg printing, which I wish he did, like, which would be really nice. Um, he's, his head is really cool. It's a new mold. His back print, I think, is really cool. It's great. He does come with a little tree branch with it. It's kind of hard to get in there. There we go. Yeah, and he just, like, slack, slack. So yeah, that's really it for Groot. Nothing to him. Now, let's go to Chris Pratt. I mean, um, Star-Lord. Star-Lord's a nice figure. He's cool. Got that hairpiece, which I think is more accurate than the one we got in the first Milano. Doesn't have any leg printing either, which kind of sucks. Got his little blasters, some back printing, and then his... Secondary face is just an angry face. Nothing that great. Nothing too great. Eh, that great. So for the next figure, let's go with Gamora. Gamora's pretty cool. She has little highlights in her hair. Um, she has like I think a white shirt under what she's wearing. Um, she does have leg printing, which is great. It's like the only figure with leg printing besides Iron Man. Um, for the back she's just got a nice face i put on her angry face because she's always angry she has some nice silver yeah no arm printing just her sword 
Now for the next figure is probably my favorite, Iron Man, Mark 50. This is confirmed to be Mark 50. So yeah, it's really cool. It's like an organic color, like an organic red, which I think is really nice. It does have his little backpack. It's nothing. It's like, because the Mark 50 figure, or suit, has is made out of like nanites, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he has his little fiery fist. He does come with other accessories, which I will show in a bit. Take that off. Yeah, I think I like his chest. Like, that torso is so cool. Would have been nice to get some arm printing, but it's understandable. Um, his little, his visor, or his, like, eyes have blue in them instead of the standard white that we usually got. Which I think is really cool. Um, here, let me just take this backpack off real quick. And now for Iron Man himself. Um, really cool, really nice. The back printing, I think, is sexy. And you lift up his helmet. He has the little screen that you always see him, like, in the movies. But it's more white, because it was, like, started out with a white coat. And then they painted over that. For his other face, it's just him being all, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, this, I, this is my favorite figure, Iron Man figure, by far. Next up, we have Thanos, which I can't really put him on a platform, because he's a big fig. He has his butter knife right here, which is pretty funny. He's a standard big fig, you know, same articulation, except... Because he has his freaking helmet piece, he can't remove. His arms only go up that high. They go wonk. Wonk. They do not go. Maybe he's too muscular or something. He has nice torso printing. Um, nothing really that great. It's, like, kind of leathery, I guess. Like, not the feeling, but the way it looks. Or, like, chain meal or something like that. He has his little chin printing. His face print is really nice. It's just that he has the helmet, which is not movie accurate. No back printing, no leg printing. Mm, yeah. Now, the set does come with the Infinity Gauntlet, which is really cool. Comes on a little platform, which you can just pop off. Well, not that. Yeah. It's really cool. And if you get the Thor's Weapon Quest, you get this power stone which just is supposed to prop into this one I'm, no this one the one right here you just uh, goes in like that kind of hard to put in because they're so small but uh, if they made them any smaller it would be terrible so yeah it just plugs in there it's a pretty darn big gauntlet which is kind of sucks but yeah Makes Thanos look so much cooler, though. Like, I really recommend getting the one with Thanos, because this Infinity Gauntlet's just great. It does come with the uh, Reality Stone, which you saw in Thor The Dark World. And, yeah, that's it. I just realized that I forgot to show you guys the other Repulsor Blast that Iron Man has. I'm sorry about that. Remember, this is my first review, so it's going to be your standard crappy review. Um... It's really cool. It's not, I mean, it's not that great, but it's pretty cool. I think it adds a lot of life to the figure. Makes it a lot better. Okay. For the connecting part of this set, which is like probably the most important part. Maybe kind of hard, let me just try and angle this like that. Um, basically you just push these back, lift these up. These kind of just swing up put those right there and then see this these three will plug into these three holes but down here then it just slides right in and then these little nubs just tab right in and then there you go looks oh yeah and push these like that that would just give it that aerodynamic and you can leave it out it's your choice i think it is the best possible thing you could do, okay? If you're going to get these sets, get both of them. I mean, like, I can understand if you can only get one, but I'm really recommending you get both because it just, like, makes it look so much better. It's, like, it's the best connection 
that I've seen from Lego. Like, we had the Ghost a few years back, which I have. The connection's not that great, but it's okay. But this is just so much better. And then when you want to take it out, just lift that up. And slide it right out. And flies away. It is just the best. Now, here's the actual, like, review part. I cannot recommend these two sets enough. Like, try, just trust me, they're really great. Okay, they're really fun, add a lot of things to your collection. It's probably the best Infinity War set, these two, right now. I'm going it, I'm gonna say it, they're the best, out of this wave. I will be getting the Hulkbusters Smash set, I think is what it's called. Might be the one from last year. But I'm going to get that one, and I will be reviewing that one pretty soon. But my next review will be on the Ninja Nightcrawler, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for standing by with me for this first review. This was my very first review, like, ever. So I really, I really appreciate it for you guys watching this. And please like and subscribe, because I will be coming out with more content that's not just LEGO. Um, so, yeah. So, stay awesome. Be great. Love Lego. See you guys.